highly effective GLP-1 drugs are a new generation of anti-obesity medications that are quite potent in decreasing appetite and causing weight loss. One of their mechanisms of action is to cross the blood-brain barrier and work directly on the appetite center within the hypothalamus. Recent studies have shown the latest class of these medications to produce an average of 18 to 22 percent weight loss when combined with diet and activity. One of the concerns that is currently being discussed on social media and in scientific circles is the sometimes significant loss of muscle mass along with fat when on these medications. When we lose muscle, sometimes described in terms of lean mass, our metabolism slows down. When our metabolism slows down, it's harder to lose weight and to keep off the weight that we have lost. It seems that there are two ways to combat the lean muscle loss that is often seen with GLP-1 drugs. Number one, adequate high quality protein intake. And number two, strength or resistance training. Muscle is made up of amino acids. All protein that we eat is also made of amino acids. Eating adequate protein spaced evenly throughout the day and sourced through protein rich foods, nutritional drinks, bars and protein supplements ensures that the muscles have enough building blocks and raw material to maintain or even build muscle. The amount of protein that you should eat varies by person and your overall health. Your healthcare provider is the best person to guide you here. The second important part of not losing muscle mass is to stimulate muscle protein synthesis via resistance or strength training. If this is something you have never done, it's a good idea to learn proper and safe technique and have a program developed by a certified trainer. In any case, starting slow and progressing steadily is an important key. The goal here is to eventually lift or move higher weights for less reps to best stimulate muscle growth. When combined in your weight loss journey, adequate protein intake and resistance training work synergistically to help preserve and build muscle rather than either one alone.